the concept of implicit differentiation is going to be extremely important in the word problems of the next section. But for now, let's state a slightly more specialized application. Logarithmic differentiation is a tool for differentiating ugly powers, products, and quotients. And it's based on these facts of the logarithm, which you may remember from algebra, that the logarithm of a, power, of a product is the sum of the logarithms, that the logarithm of a quotient is the difference of the logarithms, and that the logarithm of a power brings the power down in front of the logarithm. Let's give an example. Let's demonstrate this via example. Say that y is this ugly little frat raised to a power, and you want the derivative of y. We could get the derivative of y, but it would be a little ugly to do. We'd have to use the power rule combined with the chain rule. To use the chain rule, we'd have to take the derivative of this. To take the derivative of this, we'd have to use the quotient rule. To use the quotient rule, you'd have to use the product rule because you need the derivative of the denominator. So, that's kind of a hassle. What if we took the logarithm of both sides of this equation? Your first instinct might be that you've taken a bad problem and made it worse. But we can simplify this logarithm using these properties. Ln y equals four times the natural log of the sine of x minus the natural log of x squared minus the natural log of e to the x. We could simplify a little over here. This isn't really the point of logarithmic differentiation, but it is true that the natural log of e to the x is just x. So maybe let's simplify this a little. And what we've done is take our non-implicit equation and replaced it with an implicit equation. And now I'm going to differentiate both sides. And because when you do implicit differentiation, you treat y as a function of x. In fact, y is a function of x. If you've got the natural logarithm of a function, 
you need the chain rule. One over y, the derivative of the outside function, times the derivative of the inside function. And over here, chain rule, chain rule, no chain rule, just because this simplified to x, but the derivative of the outside function, the derivative of the natural log, gives you a sign in the denominator, the derivative of the inside function is the cosine. The derivative of the natural law gives you an x squared in the denominator. The derivative of x squared is 2x. The derivative of x is 1. So now, We'll solve for y prime. It's 4y times all of this. Simplifying a little as we go, the cosine over the sine is the cotangent. This x and this x squared partially cancel. No simplification here. One's as easy as it gets. And here's y prime. But there's a step left to do. I know I said that when you do implicit differentiation, it's normal to have x's and y's. But when we're doing logarithmic differentiation, we know what y is. So we're going to go down here. And we're going to replace y with well, with itself, y equals that. And that's implicit differentiation. I would personally, I would find this to be the easiest way of solving this problem, of finding this derivative. I would find this implicit differentiation easier than powering through with the chain rule and then having to use the quotient rule and then having to use the product rule. Having said that, you certainly could take this derivative that way if you wanted to.